Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, I'm actually going to be reviewing a product, and it's one of Jaclyn Hill's um, Vault Collection palettes, and it's called Dark Magic. Um, and also, I have powder underneath my eyes to catch any of the, the fallout that may happen in this palette, but um, I'm going to open it up, and we'll get started in this review of the product. Let's see how well it looks. And it's coming to a lot of uh, a lot of bubble wrap and everything too, so it keeps it really nice and neat, which I like. And I love the packaging, by the way; it's wonderful. Um, so let's open it up and see which ones I want to start with. Okay, so I'm going to take the protective cover off. So these are all the shades that she has in here. And honestly, right away, the ones that I can see that I'm going to literally love are going to be Power Cut and Diversion. I think those are perfect. And then there's like this um, shimmery green shade, kind of. It's called Trickery, which I kind of like too. I like shimmery shades. So um, basically, I'm going to start... And I'm going to start with um, Poof, which is a transition shade that I'm going to put all over my eyes. Okay, yeah, I mean, and it's working pretty good, too, so I like it. Okay, I'll do the other eye. I also bought this shadow just to kind of, or this palette, just because I really liked her tutorial that she did on it. I'm going to try to get as close as I can to that, which I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do that, but let's see how well that works. Because, you know, that's not going to work that way. But I'm also going, then I'm going to go into, to deepen my cre uh, crease, I'm going to go in with which is literally the shade name. I don't think I'm trying to shush somebody, but I just want like the shade that's a funny, funny name. I actually really like this sh this palette. It blends out really well, actually. I've tried out two shades so far, and they blend out really, really well. And I really like that. It's the first time I'm actually buying a Jaclyn Hill palette. From Morphe, like I know she has her big palette that's like 35 shades or something like that. But, um, so far I'm really impressed with this. She did a very good job. Like, I think she did a really good job with that. Yeah, I think she did a really good job on this palette. I think it, they blend out really well. At least for me. I don't know how you guys feel. If anybody has tried it, let me know. But...
I think it's literally one of the better shadows I've tried. I've tried different shadows from different brands and everything, but... That's two shades so far. And honestly, I'm not mad at it at all. Actually, it looks really good. And there is a little bit of fallout, but not much. And not too much really to worry about, really, honestly. Um, but what I will be doing... I'm just going to be using three shadows, I think. Maybe more. Alright. Let's go into Mojito, which is like a really dark, dark brown, I want to say. I'm going to put that on my lid. So, and to do that, I'm going to use this part of my brush here. This shade is really pigmented too, so I actually really like this so far. She's done a really good job with this. Like, I honestly think this is really good, actually. This is... Putting more on this brush to, like, soften it up. Yeah, that's actually really good. I think I'll be doing that more often with this. I guess in other news, I guess I could tell you guys too. Um, I did get a new job. And it's actually in Alta. So I'm actually really happy about that because... I've been trying to get into like a makeup area for like a really long time at least for a couple of years or so, and honestly, I couldn't be any more happier than I am right now about it because I know it's one of those things that I could actually use for the rest of my life because it's a part of my, a part of my career choice that I really want to do. And I think that, you know, making this step into that realm will really help me because eventually I do want to do something like Jaclyn Hill's done, like, you know, like, how she collaborates with brands and stuff. I really want to do that myself, so. Yeah. actually really happy with this actually it's coming out pretty well um and then i'm going to go in with um probably one of these shimmery shades i don't know which one i want to do i think i've got enough brown on so i think i'm honestly going to go in with trickery i think that'll look good so and i'm also gonna i'm gonna try it with no fix plus first and then I'm going to add Fix Plus if I feel like it needs it. But judging by how these other shades have gone, you won't really need it. Yeah, you don't really need Fix Plus unless if you really like a really blinding one. Actually, these are really, really nice, actually. I know she's had problems with, like, people wanting to return it, but... Girl, I'm gonna keep mine. This is, like, one of the best palettes I've had.
So this eye is pretty much done. So I think it looks pretty good, but I am going to have to go in with sh the literally the shade and kind of soften up the edges around it. Just to kind of make sure that it's, you know, blended in with the darker shades. I think it actually looks really, really good. I like it. So, the other eye. Yeah, I got this actually at the Alta that I'm going to be working at, which if you live in the area, you know Westland Mall. That is where I will be working at the Alta now. I actually work at the Journeys there right now as well, but I'd have to see if they conflict with the schedules, but I like both jobs so far, but... I haven't decided whether I want to keep both of them or or not because, you know. Same thing, I'm going to have to go in with this one just to kind of like blend out the shadows a little bit. And I think for the inner corner, I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to go in with a uh, power cut right here, which is that um, like light tan shimmery shade for the inner corner. actually loving this look right now but you know yeah that's actually looking really good I'm actually not mad at it okay so I'm going to wipe away my powder that I have underneath with my powder brush, whatever that is. Okay. Ever so lightly. Looks like I forgot to put powder here. Oh well, we can fix that. Because I am going to go in with um, the shade again and do it underneath my lash line to kind of do a smoky eye type thing.
Okay. So I'm not mad at this, but it's kind of not really my style, but I tried with this. Tried to make it look as good as I could, but, you know, sometimes things don't turn out the right way. I'm not mad at the palette, though. Like, the palette did its job. The palette definitely did it. I'm just not as experienced working with these shadows. I don't know, maybe it's my lighting in my room, but... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have used trickery. I probably should have used, like, power cut all over. Maybe it would have looked a little bit better. You know what? Let's see how that looks instead and put it on top. Because... Maybe it'll tone down the blue in it a little bit. It'll make it look a little bit better. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better. It actually looks really good. I'm not mad at that now. Now this is more of my style. Actually, this is actually looking a lot better. Now, this is something that I would wear all the time. So now the eye look is done. I'm going to do a little bit more um, highlight on my cheek to get rid of this and some of the powder because I sweep the powder into the highlight. You always want the highlight to be good. And I like the brush, so... Get mad at me. I don't care. And the highlight that I'm using is the Fenty Beauty highlighter. It's the Kilowatt and Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. It's the only one that I felt like kind of like really suited my skin tone. And the look that I was going for today, so... Just doing some light touch up on my highlighter. And a little bit down the nose. And keep its bow and then my chin. And then I will be putting on my mascara now. And this I am not good at because every time I do it, I either get it in my eye or poke my eye out. So hopefully, I'm better at this this time. That eye is done. Let's do this one now. Got it. Dip in for some more, and then I'll be almost done. <laughs> you know fall is coming when you do nothing but, like, snipple. And for 
for me, it's a sign of happiness because I freaking love fall. Fall is literally going to be my favorite, is my favorite season, like, ever, so. Um, but I think that this look is done. Now, you probably might want to do, like, a different lip than me, but, um, I feel like this is a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so this video is done, and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.